Good morning, adventurers. We're having ourselves a little French road trip today. <laughs> we're, uh, we all hopped in the car and we're driving a couple hours away from the town where we're staying at because we found online this really insane looking uh, church called uh, Saint Mont Michel, Mont Saint, Saint Michel. Michel. And it's a church that's on a little island in the middle of like a, is it a lake or is it kind of in the ocean? It's like in the bay. It um, has a little path where you can like walk up to it, but when the tide comes in, I think all of it gets uh, flooded and it's completely surrounded by water. So it looked absolutely amazing online. So we wanted, before we leave, we wanted to take a trip out there and see it for ourselves. We just made a quick uh, late breakfast stop at a little cafe at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> but I was desperate, in desperate need of some coffee. But now we're back on the road. We've arrived at the mountain and it's uh, more magnificent than I thought it could be. It's like straight out of a fairy tale. Check that out. It's insane. There's this helicopter over there that keeps flying up to the church and then flying away with some kind of payload hanging from a string. And the last one he was flying with it and it broke open and some crud spilled into the water. <laughs> it was so weird. This is absolutely amazing. None of the water is in, because I guess the tide doesn't come in for like until like tomorrow or something. So it's all just a complete wasteland around the castle. It's really like nothing I've ever seen. Check. It's pretty badass that they just let you walk out into the like flood area. There's a sign over there that said, caution, this vehicle area will be underwater later today. So get your vehicle out of there. It's kind of scary. house thing here. I can't tell what it is, but I think there's a door on the other side. What's in there? There's not much in here. It's just like a creepy old tomb or something. It looks I don't like know. these were the stairs. <sighs> yeah. So there was like an old walkway or something that went out to it, I guess. chapel that's just kind of like the stairs st go straight down into the water so the water will come up to where those stairs are and then the whole thing will just be locked by the water it's weird that it's not attached to the main uh, city yeah, right it's so interesting we've uh, officially circumnavigated the outside of the this little town yeah but now I think we're gonna go explore it a bit yeah so a little bit about this place, it was, I guess, constructed, or first 
um, the first monastery, I think, was built in the 8th century. And it was like a little bitty guy on top, and since then, it's become this huge structure. And I think at one point there were like over a thousand people living within the walls, but now they're only, I think they say 44. But I guess it's like a whole little commune just living here. This is absolutely incredible. This is like nothing I've ever seen. This is really neat. So I'm thinking this is like a little track that they use to send stuff down from the top on this little contraption there. I think they might still use it. It looks like they do. Oh, actually, I think this is like the new version of it. There's like a little wire system that attaches right there. I think there are some actual residents on this island, but there's also like along this road, there's supposed to be some shops and bars and restaurants maybe. So you might see if we can find a cool little spot to grab a bite to eat. Check this out. This is a uh, picture of the castle or the island surrounded by water. So we found ourselves a little restaurant to chill out, grab ourselves a little drink. We got ourselves a bottle of red wine to share. That's the way to do it. Yeah, it was only, what, 10 euros? Yeah, it was a pretty good deal to France. Check it out, man. We ordered a gigantic bowl of mussels and fries. This is <laughs> amazing. Awesome. Yep. Good idea, sir. While we were hanging out and just grabbing a bite to eat, the tide started coming in. So the water hasn't made it up to here yet, but it's just all ocean out there. So that water, the water over there is going to come all the way up to here, all the way up to this line right there. That's insane. That's nuts. I mean, that's like we were just walking over there. Earlier. Yeah, that's where we were walking earlier. That side over there says that That's where we flew the drone at. Bye-bye, <laughs> yeah. amazing island castle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad we didn't get to go in the church, but you have to pay to get in there and the line was huge. Yeah. And we just couldn't be bothered. So just be aware, it's like 10 euros to get in there. Yeah. You're just getting one last look at the castle? I'm just trying to soak it in. I just don't yeah. want to forget it because it's so epic. We're trying to leave, but we keep stopping because we just like want to take in the beauty of the castle. It's, it's like just so Something about this, this scene is just, with that with the water coming in, it just makes it even, even more amazing. Bye. <laughs> so this parking lot's kind of empty and Allison really wants to learn how to drive a stick. So we decided she's gonna have herself a little crash course, but she's not gonna crash. No crash courses. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna have crash. a very nice, relaxed, course in driving. So whenever you release your foot, you're going to start moving a tad. Okay. You're going to rev it up and then you're going to feather your foot off of the clutch slowly. Okay. There you go. There you, so go. There you go. If you ever get in a pickle, yeah. always hit the clutch and brake. Okay. Now just hit your clutch and brake and, and oh, well, see. yeah, okay. Now pull over here. We made it back in one piece, you guys. Matt is a legend for driving. <laughs> so yeah, knows what's up. that stick is no joke. Yeah, after that lesson, Allison wasn't quite ready to, to drive us home. Uh -uh, uh -uh. But we got back here and every store in the vicinity closed at 8.30 and it's now 9.30, so. Gotta sell us yeah. uh, some pizzas. It was pizza or kebabs. Smell oh, like yeah. pizza. That was a 
quite an adventure today. I think one of the coolest places that we've ever been. It looked so magical <laughs> sitting there and the water was starting to come in and stuff, man. It was really cool, really cool. But I think we're gonna leave you guys right here. Good night adventures. See you on the road.